I want to talk about Vincent Lomachenko um, and, what's, and what can be next for him, his next fight. Um, <clears throat> he obviously won a, uh, and won a great fight yesterday versus um, uh, Lenores. It was, to me, it was a great fight. I thought uh, Lomachenko was up on the scorecards. I didn't get some of the scorecards, but I thought Lomachenko controlled the fight. Yes, he did get knocked down. Um, Lenores uh, knocked him down with a straight right hand. Lomachenko was coming in, you know, um, straight down the pipe, and he was coming in kind of squared up. He was kind of squared up when he was coming in. And uh, Lenores caught him with a nice straight right hand. But what I would like to see from um, Lomachenko, I would like to see him fight uh, Mikey Garcia or a, um, you know, would I like him to see see him fight? Yeah, I would, I would like to see him fight Mikey Garcia. It's going to be a tough fight versus Mikey Garcia, man. Because one thing about Mikey Garcia, he's he's more powerful than um than Lenoris. Uh, he's more powerful. He's he's a little bit bigger. Now he said he will come down to 135 to fight Lomachenko. I don't know if he's still going to do that, but could because um, right now he he won the belt at 140. I don't know if Mikey Garcia will come down, but he said he will come down for that fight. But um, Bob Arum said he will send out a. I said he he said he will send out an offer to Mikey Garcia. He also stated that Mikey Garcia is hard to deal with, is hard to negotiate with. We all know that uh, Mikey Garcia used to be with Bob Arum and they had their problems. Mikey Garcia didn't fight for, what, two years, two and a half years? Almost three years of his career, in the prime of his career. Now, would I like to see Lomachenko fight uh, Easter Jr.? I think that would be a good fight. I would like to, I would like to see that fight uh, specifically to see how Lomachenko deal with Easter Jr.'s height. I believe Easter Jr. is, what, 5'10", 5'11"? He may be six feet. And it will be interesting, inter interesting to see how Lomachenko deal with his height. But I think Lomachenko uh, will beat uh, Easter Jr. because Easter Jr., he doesn't use his height. He's a guy that likes to fight on the inside. He's a guy that gives up his height. He likes to brawl. His last fight was against Fortuna was not all that uh, appealing to me. It was not a good performance. He tried to make some excuses about the performance. But the, simple, the fact of the matter is he doesn't use his height well, man. He 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 has to be able to use his height, and specifically in that weight, the weight class that he's in, because it's not that many guys that they got his length and his height in that weight class. And if he used his jab and stayed on the outside more, he would be a devastating fighter. He would be way better than what he is now. But he doesn't use his, uh, you know, his strengths against his opponents, his advantages. And you know, boxing is about advantages and. I believe Lomachenko will be a bad matchup for him. I think Lomachenko will probably stop him, to be honest with you. But um, they talking about Gervonta Davis. No, Gervonta Davis is not ready for Lomachenko. Now, Gervonta Davis is a, is a talented fighter. He obviously can fight. He has some power. He has some boxing skills. But Lomachenko is in a whole nother level. And I believe Gervonta Davis, Gervonta Davis' mindset on how he, you know, how he's acting right now. Yes, he won his last fight in impressive, impressive fashion. But he needs to continue climbing up the ladder. Just continue climbing up the ladder, doing what he's doing. Because if he gets if he gets thrown in there with Lomachenko right now, he's going to get stopped. I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but it's levels to everything you do in life. And Lomachenko is on a different level than um, a lot of these guys that he's getting in the ring with. He's a former uh, you know Olympic champion, two-time former Olympic champion, and you know he's brought that that experience and that technical aspect to uh to professional uh fighting you know he he beat guys like gary russell jr you know the axe man you know uh he beat uh what he beat rigandal so and then now he beat lenora so he got some good wins under his belt some very good wins under his belt but i think uh the mikey garcia fight will be a tall tale tall task for uh lomachenko can he can he beat mikey garcia yes he has the skills to beat mikey garcia but he will have to be on his A game defensive wise against Mikey Garcia. He can't make that same mistake that he made against Lenores because Mikey Garcia will, will hurt you. You know, he will hurt you bad. But um, let me know what y'all think, who y'all want to see. Uh, I know Lenores said he wanted a rematch and all that. I don't think Lenores should get a rematch right away. I think, uh, you know, let's move on and let Lenores uh, build himself a little bit and, and, you know, fight a couple fights, build himself back up. And then you can go back around and maybe fight that fight. But I want to see uh, Lomachenko fight somebody else. Lomachenko is, what, 30-something years old already. So, you know, his, his his career is fast moving. He did start late because he stayed in the amateurs a long time. So, 
I want to see him fight other guys like uh, Robert Easter Jr. Or, My or Mikey Garcia, guys like that of that ilk to see how he does against those guys. But I think the Mikey Garcia fight is a that's a 50 50 fight, hands down. You know, I, I don't. I want to go with Lomachenko in that fight because he's. I think he's going to be a look. It all depends on what weight they fight at, man. If if um, Garcia, you know, want to try to pull him up to 140, then I think it's a different animal. It's a different fight. But uh, let me know what y'all think. Uh, hey, subscribe to the channel, man. I'm out.